Thanks to an Elon Musk video, we finally got a glimpse inside the SpaceX Starship. It's like walking into the strangest grain silo on the planet. Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Before we proceed with this video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly click on the notification bell to get updates on our exciting content. Elon Musk is a man with a goal, apart from his demanding day job of weaning humanity off gas-guzzling autos. He also intends to drag humankind to Mars. And he wants to do it the right way. To that aim, Musk has been working feverishly on the Starship, a groundbreaking interplanetary spaceship launching and iterating new prototypes at a breakneck pace. But how does it all operate? And what exactly is within that massive gleaming cylinder that keeps collapsing? Let's take a tentative step onto the long-suffering Boca Chica launch pad today to look inside the Starship. On Tuesday, Musk tweeted, Inside Starship Cargo Bay, with a video of the Starship. Header tanks are positioned in the tip of the nose cone to help offset the weight of the engine at the back. In a Reddit Q&A in 2016, Musk explained the purpose of the spherical tanks, saying they hold the landing propellant and are separated for better insulation. We all have largely been marveling at the ship's gleaming exterior up to this point. Then, on Saturday at SpaceX's Boca Chica, Texas, Musk touted the stainless steel spacecraft, claiming that the latest version of the rocket could reach orbit in six months. Musk eventually gave us a look inside SpaceX's new spaceship, only days after revealing the gleaming silver exterior. The interior footage provides us a clear idea of the prototype's huge size. So, welcome to the Starship Orbital Prototype. Today, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, will be your personal tour guide. Today we get a good look inside the massive new spacecraft that encapsulates Musk's ambitions to one day send people to Mars. The SpaceX CEO and founder gave us a design update on Starship and Super Heavy, the reusable spacecraft and rocket that the company is developing to help humanity colonize Mars. On September 28, that was a Saturday night. However, what exactly is Starship? The BFR, Big Falcon Rocket, and ITS, Intelligent Transport System, were the previous names for the vessel we now call Starship. Along with the name change, SpaceX reiterated its strategy for moving all of its activities to the Starship platform, eventually. A Starship is a super heavy lift rocket that can transport enormous cargoes to space at its most basic level. SpaceX's Starship is a next generation spacecraft that will also transport people and goods to Earth orbit, the Moon, and eventually Mars. In recent months, a prior Starhopper test version managed some brief jumps. This revolutionary Starship is designed to take you to new heights. The Starship concept photos portrayed a smooth stainless steel exterior, while this one had visible welding seams. The Starship is the second stage of a two-stage vehicle designed to accomplish this. The Starship is the most important part, with all the cargo and crew inside, but it's stacked on the super-heavy first stage. In summer 2021, SpaceX stacked the two stages for the first time. According to SpaceX, Super Heavy is required to get the spacecraft out of Earth's gravitational well with enough fuel to reach its destination. Because of the lower gravity, the Starship can then travel to its destination, such as Mars, and then launch itself back into space without using the Super Heavy. The Starship is fully reusable, but the Super Heavy component is still up for debate. Although SpaceX has gotten quite good at landing Falcon 9 boosters, this rocket is massive in comparison. Elon Musk at one point stated that the company wants to use a launch tower to catch Super Heavy, but that doesn't sound easy, even for the company that developed the Falcon 9. Just recently, Musk gave his speech in front of the Starship MK-1, the first full-scale prototype of the 100-passenger spacecraft, which had just been assembled out of stainless steel. While giving his speech, he also shared a 10-second video on Twitter, showcasing the spacecraft's massive cargo bay, which measures 30 feet, 9 meters wide. About half an hour later, in yet another tweet, he added that the exhibition version will be much more polished than the prototype, but it will still be a lot of fun to see. The MK-1 is equipped with three Raptor engines from SpaceX's next generation. Six Raptors will be on the final Starship, and the Super Heavy will have room for 37 of them. 
According to Musk, at least 31 of those spots will almost certainly be filled on each launch of the massive launcher. If everything goes according to plan, the MK-1 will fly for the first time soon. According to Musk, SpaceX plans to launch the prototype on an unmanned, 12-mile-high, 20-kilometer flight into the skies above its South Texas plant in the next month or two. If development work goes well, a Starship prototype might reach orbit in six months, he predicted on Saturday night. He stated that the milestone flight will most likely be accomplished by a future edition of the spacecraft, maybe MK-4 or MK-5. We might not really have to wait long for commercial activities to commence after that. According to SpaceX executives, Starship and Super Heavy should have begun launching communication satellites as early as this year and the business is working on a crewed mission with a 2023 launch date. A round-the-moon voyage booked by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maizawa, who has said he hopes to take a few artists with him. Musk's ambitious timetable for reaching orbit may not pan out. Major space projects are notorious for being delayed, but it will be worth the wait to watch this gleaming beast ascend to the skies. Delays have been a feature of the Starship project, as well as Elon Musk's aspiration for Mars for years. Musk was asked when he thought SpaceX would first land a human on Mars in an edition of the Lex Friedman podcast, which was also released Tuesday. Best case is roughly five years. Worst scenario is about 10 years, Musk said after a 20 to 25 second pause. Musk had wanted to land humans on Mars by 2024, and as recently as December 2020, he stated that he was very sure that he would be able to do so by 2026. Now it appears that trust is eroding, owing in part to issues Musk has raised with SpaceX employees about the need to ramp up production of the next-generation Raptor engines used by Starship. Elon has made a number of predictions regarding Mars, including the possibility of establishing a human colony before the end of this decade. Musk envisions a fleet of over 100 starships gathering in Earth's orbit every 26 months to depart en masse for Mars, when the planet is closest to Earth. Each one is said to be capable of transporting 100 people. Even with SpaceX's Boca Chica facility's high speed of development, that appears unlikely to happen anytime soon. Several low-altitude tests, as well as two high-altitude flights, have been accomplished by Starship. One of the two, however, had an engine failure and crashed into the ground. All of this is sans the super heavy stage, which is required for any mission planned by Starship. While SpaceX has successfully piled Starship with the super heavy boosters as of September 2021, the latter has yet to fly. According to SpaceX's most recent predictions, the earliest possible journey to Mars without a crew would be in 2024 which is around the same time that the Artemis HLS will be complete. It's not strange that Mars would take a back seat to more pressing worries. After all, the health repercussions of a Mars expedition are yet unknown, but colonization does not appear to be a viable option. There you have it. What's inside the SpaceX Starship? Will this enormous space machine receive awe and admiration due to its status as an orbital marvel? What's your opinion? Please. Tell us what you think in the comments section. Please, remember to like this video if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell button to be notified whenever we upload videos like this one.